But mimi nilikuwa na mabeste kingori. Kingori mimi nilikuwa na mabeste hata wenye tulikuwa nao kwa hiyo competition wengi akina Tom, akina Nasra. Si tulikuwa tumeka hivi chini tukawa tunapiga hesabu mpaka naambia, "Eh majamaa hii doni mwenye atashinda hii doni. Jua kila msali kwa ana kwa race anatoka. Kila msali anatolewa. Kila msali mimi nikabaki. Tukakaa mali nikaambia tukiwa madhara nikaambia maja, "Eh mimi nikishinda" mimi ndio piga 50 50 akianani situmia akili wako waine hii ndio piga 50 50 alafu nikaambia Tom jua ni mori wangu wewe ndio ndio kucheze sio kijana akajua eh bro yangu akishinda mimi ni umaskini nimeipiga teke yes kingori nilishinda hiyo do vinya ilikuwa inaenda si kwa naelewa mimi nilikuwa natembea na ATM nikifika mahali naona kabudhi ka ATM kananiita kioko naweza kuona kidogo Mengi tu hiyo sauti ilikuwa imeingia kwa akili yangu. <laughs> But vinyo do ilika, ilika, mm. una kama vinyo anasema story ya kuinvest. Mm. Wase wengi wenye unasikianga anakupigia simu anakuuliza bro nikiweza kuwa na mia <laughs> naweza fanya biashara gani? Hiyo mm. inakuwa gani depression watu majority. Yeah. Inakuwa gamsi ametoka juu al, alikuwa na do ame realize eh hii do yangu ina, inaisha tabuni invest sasa mm. ikuangi ni kupenda kwa mtu. <laughs> Ukisikia mzee anakuambia eh niko na ka 8 tenaweza weka nini? Hiyo sasa huyo mse kuna reality imeanza kumpiga labda ameanza kujua eh hapa naweza vutwa job hii job yangu inaisha so mimi nda do so inakuanga hiyo so mimi nilifika hiyo level mpaka najiambia eh mpaka unapata mpaka kuna wase wa karibu nayo anaanza kuongelea vibaya so hiyo ndio vitu ilifanya mimi nikakuwa hard kwa mimi kama sasa hata msa kiniambia oh hati wewe unakuanga stingi na kuambia kabisa <laughs> <laughs> inafaa hivyo yeah. juu mm. ni realize hata usaidie wase mm. kuna wase wakuangi na ile roho ya kusema tu asanti nini mm. saidi though naweza saidia mali naweza but mali siwezi mm. yeah. potelea mbali Help juu kila mse ako na maisha yake sasa sasa mimi ndatembea kwa kama wanasiasa ati eh <laughs> juu mimi nilikuwa nasikia mpaka mse ako na njaa hiyo time nilikuwa na do mpaka kuna vitu zi, vitu za wenyewe zinaniuma mse ako na njaa eh wewe hata hajasema <laughs> Hata hajasema kwa nanja kumwangalia tu nasema eh bro umekula wewe <laughs> Wewe shika 500 uh, uliacha hizo jokes kabisa Kama wa leo mimi nimejua ati 500 nilikuwa napea msi lunch ya 500 Saizi anipate 500 Pani alikuwa anakula nini hiyo lunch Sasa unapigwa 60 songa unaona so sikuwa najua ni ile unapata uko generous uko too much you are just too much unasaidia eh hey, relative hey, kuna nini kuna nini kuna nini But baadaye una realize hii kusaidia labda ningesaidia ningekaa chini labda ningepata na Susan mm. aniambie kioko uko na ido fanya mm. hivi kuna tu biashara unataka kuweka but situjui mimi nilikuwa nagonganisha mpaka tu hoteli kila mahali mahali nataka kutembea mm. hii chukua mach- mashini ya chips na wekelea hii chukua nini mm. but hii si biashara inani favor Yes. Yeah. Isi biashara yangu. Hii nataka, nataka tu kuweka niseme ah mimi investor. <laughs> eh hey, mimi niko na mabizi Nairobi. <laughs> But sizielewi. Yes. Unapata stima ndio hiyo bills zinapanda nini na kugonga umeka biashara nyingine imeanguka. Reason ni kuambia Kingori mimi nilirudi kwa ile biashara nilikuwa nafanya nikiwa hustler na nikai modify kwa biashara bigi. Yes. Ni juu hiyo ndio biashara mimi nilikuwa na understand. Yep. Mimi nilikuwa gana uza viatu nilikuwa na, na mke ya gikomba. Yes. Naenda na shika maluku na uza So ikafika point nikafanya hizi biashara zingine zinakataa. So nikajiambia eh bora na kama biashara zinakataa. Si nirudi kwa ile business kwa naipiga but this time ni ipatie face iko fit juu size mm-hmm. yenda gikomba. Mm-hmm. Siwezi enda kufika maluku wapi. So sasa hii naweza import vitu naweza fanya nini? Na ikaduka na na masonga. Sasa hii napata niko comfortable. Nikiuzia wasee masuti, yeah. nikiuzia wasee luku. Sasa niko comfortable na hiyo mm-hmm. biz. Ni juu nililearn. Nilikuwa labda naweka eh naangalia naona eh troll ya smoky. Nikiweka pale mtu sita But unaweka msee pale anakula stock. Unasaa yeye sinieke sinieke kinyozi. Mimi si understand watu wanafaiwa nyolewe na pesa. So unapata na invest kwa vitu zenye yes. sielewi. Yeah. Nataka tu ku invest nisikie na wekelea do mahali. Mm. Yes, yes, But yes. so kisha learn. Mm. Unaweza kuwa na do yako niseme eh ni sinishike kashamba mahali nikawache. Niende nika fence na nika nikarushe. Niende nishike mahali labda ka, ka hizi manyumba nitulie mahali niweke biashara zenye zinaweza kufit kwa hiyo time. Yes. So kuna wase we invest na pressure. Yep. Ujuu uko na hiyo do unajiambia eh niweke nini niweke nini niweke nini bro <laughs> niko na mita niko na nifanya nini niweke mm. eh club unapata msi wa kanisa hadi ameka pub juu ya pressure juu ya mski yako na wenzangu ni ya wenzangu spirit iko na biashara but yeah. haelewi logistics ya ibiz mm. so inakuwa gani tafsa nimejua, ma- yeah. nimejua kwa nini niliona <laughs> wenzangu spirit inaitwa john 316 <laughs> eh, mm. kuna kitu kioka amesema hapo mm. very interesting yeah, yeah alipanga anajua mm. Yeah, kiwini mita, mm. takupea 50k, takupea 50k, takupea 50k. Mm. 
alafu when the money hits, reality changes. Mm. Uh, what does that say about budgeting? Do enye ujapata? Yeah. Uko shua unenda kuipata? Right. How do you plan mm. for money that has not arrived? Uh, ma, yeah, that's a very good question. Now, when you're planning for money, there are uh, four things that I always tell people should f show up in a budget. Okay? For most of us in Anziangapa na inaishi hapa, mandatory bills and expenses, right? So umepanga vile mtajisot, mtajipanga, mtahama, nyumba kubwa, you know, there's all those things, right? But on, other than your mandatory bills and expenses, lazima wangalie story ya debt. Most Kenyans are in a lot of debt. Okay. Who are to budget, yani si ukopa, interestingly si ukopa, but who are to budget, ama kupanga vile tutali pa idu. Okay. And that's why we keep, uh, I mean, how many of us here in the audience can can say ka, they relate to kuchukua tala, ndo ulipe branch, alafu branch wakikutafuta, unachukua opesa, ndo ulipe. I mean, how many of us can relate Sasa to that? Sasa shida ni wote wakunyine. Kuna time wanaongeanga. So, watakufanya yo kitu. Na unona, so the thing is that we take debt, but we don't plan on how to pay back that debt. And that's something that should show up in a budget. Kitu ingine lezme show up kwa budget, nizi savings and investments, sami anasema. And there's something amesema that I, I would love to reiterate. Do not invest in something you do not understand. Yes. That is the biggest mistake I've personally seen so many people making. Ya meongia storia biz. Minta ongia storia easy formal investments. Mtu ameka, amechukwa doya ya school fees, Ya mtoi wake, next term, ameambi ukie kakwa forex, idu ita multiply times seven. Unajua forex ina wakaji? Aujui. Unajua ta, yani do you understand anything? No, you take your child's school fees, then you put it in forex. Because umeambu ita grow times seven. That's how people are losing money, right? Ama crypto. Yeah, Never yeah, invest yeah. because of a hype. And there's something kwa side chat nilikuwa na kushu, kitu nime observe na our generation. I'm, I'm still also in my 20s. We are a generation that has heavily invested in education, I mean entertainment over education. When someone is, uh, comes to my class and I, I tell them, you know, pay 5K for a budget in class. Uo mse atazua, anashangani, yani nakulipa 5K unifunze kubudget, yoyo ni uongo. Atafika tu pale kwa ile kona, kabla malize kuchapo yoko na mesha tumia yo fai? Your 5K. It's easy for us to spend on entertainment more than it is to spend on educating our ourselves. So we will keep making money, and that's one of the things that I've observed. We are making money. This generation is making money. It's so easy to make money. I mean, look at what Mungai Eva is, is doing. Just utilizing your skill, your talent, um, and you're able to make money. The thing is that, and we were discussing with her earlier on how even with celebrities that have so much access to money, unapata umse five years later, ten years later, watu anashanga nini ilifanyikia umse na vile alikuwa na bag. Like, she was securing the bag. You know, she was getting all the brand deals. Or he or she was getting all the, you know, everything. But you're wondering, um, salifanya nini na, na do yake. It's because we are not aware. We don't know what is available in the market. Now, even if we know what is available in the market, tunataka quick fix. I can't tell you the number of times people have come to my Instagram. Now, when I text, when you Samia, I say, Coach, ni kona 200, ni fanye nini? Unajua mimi kama niko biased towards circles, nita kuambia upeleke? Sako. Kama niko biased towards crypto, nita kuambia upeleke? Crypto. But you, what do you need? Okay. You understand? Yes. So how do you know what you need? You look at your life. Where am I right now? Do I, as I've said, do I have debt? I need to pay off debt. Do I want passive income? Nini nini onita? Like me, one of my, um, my top financial goals in the next 10 years, I want my passive income to exceed my active income. What does that mean? Nataka ku make money in my sleep. Nataka dividends na ingia, interest na ingia from investments. Na uza digital products on my website. Nikiwa nmelala, doi na ingia. To me, that is what financial freedom is. That is what retirement to me is. Retirement is not an age, Dr. Kingori. It's a number. Because you can still get to retirement age and still be broke. So it's not retirement C age. It's a number you get to where I can choose whether I want to work today or not. But that will not affect whether I eat, whether I have a roof over my head. Maze, those are the goals that keep me on top of my money. Those are the things that make me 
observe every coin, where it's going. Those are the things that make me want to budget for giving and charity and entertainment and still education because when you have your goals so clear to you, akuna mse ataka mkukwambia ubudget, akuna mse ataka kwambia windfall money kikuja, what to do with it. Because I know my biggest goal right now is passive income. So everything I'm doing with all my money inenda ku set up is of it. So that in the next 10 to 15 years, kuna do inaingia whether I work or not there's something that will be coming will be coming in yeah okay. Okay. so when you're budgeting about when you i mean so we was we've said that um, bills and expenses debt repayments savings and investments they must be on your budget and the other thing i am not the coach that will tell you not to have enjoyment budget for enjoyment there's nothing wrong with enjoyment nothing wrong with giving nothing wrong with luxury what is wrong is doing it unplanned Okay. You understand? So okay. budgeting is not, um, I, I keep telling people, me I look at budgeting, it's so simple. Budgeting is literally telling your, your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. A lot of us are wondering where our money goes to. So when you start budgeting, you're deciding, e, one million in this is how I want to spend it. This is how I will distribute it. Okay. So that's exactly what budgeting is. It's just intentionally planning.